Hi everyone, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we will design this custom checkbox. So let me show you a demo. When we click on any of these items, we can see we have this animation and we have this custom SVG over here. A lot of times, the default checkbox may not be suitable for your design. So you may have to create your own custom checkbox. So let's see how to create this checkbox over here. So I have this project opened in VS Code and I have this folder called IMG and I have an SVG over here. So let's start by creating an index.html file and we'll also create a style.css file and we want to move it outside the IMG. Alright, so we have these two files. Now let's start with the index.html file. We just type exclamation and press tab and we have this uh, HTML5 boilerplate. First we'll create a division called container and uh, in that we will have an h1 and uh, we will say apps you use and then we'll create three groups for these checkboxes. So we'll create a division with a class of group and in that we will have an input with a type of checkbox and we'll also give it an ID of XD. Alright, let's open this with live server and uh, see what we have. So here we have the heading and uh, this is a checkbox. Let's create a label. And it is for XD, so we have to type XD over here. And in label, we will type Adobe XD. Alright, so this is our first checkbox. Now let's copy this and uh, we'll paste it two more times. And for the next one, uh, we will type Figma and uh, here we'll type Figma as well and Figma here. And uh, then we have sketch and we'll type sketch over here. So if you don't know, these are awesome web design and prototype tools. Alright, so we have all our checkboxes and uh, all are working fine. Now let's link our CSS over here. Right, so let's open the CSS and uh, we'll start styling the page. We'll start with a universal selector as always and uh, we will type margin 0, box sizing border box. And for the body, uh, we'll give a font family of Roboto sans serif and a background color of ECF0F1. And we'll also set the color of the text to 2C3E50. Now let's style the H1. And for the H1, we will give a margin of 16 pixels and 0. And we'll also give it a border left of 5 pixels solid E74C3C. And also a padding left of 16 pixels. Alright, so now let's style the container. For the container, we will give a padding of 48 pixels. We'll give it a height of 100 viewport height and a display of flex. And we'll set the flex direction to column and justify content to the center. Now let's style the group inside the container. So container dot group and we'll give it a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and uh, 48 pixels left and right and a margin of 8 pixels. Now we need to hide this checkbox and display our own. So we'll type input type checkbox and then here we will type display none. So now we cannot see the checkbox. Now we'll use the before selector to create our own custom checkbox. So we need to position that relative to the label. So for the label, we have to set a position of relative. All right, so now we will use the before selector. For the before and after selectors, you need to have a content property. So we will type content and we don't want to have any content. So we'll just type blank and we'll type background URL. And here we will type IMG slash check circle 
and we'll also set the background position to center and background size to contain so right now we cannot see our SVG so let's give it a width of 32 pixels and a height of 32 pixels and also set the position to absolute alright so now we can see the SVG now we have to position it correctly so first of all we will set the left to minus 44 pixels and uh, then we will set the top to minus 8 pixels so I had calculated the left and the top positions before so you may have to change it according to your needs now initially we don't want to display the SVG so what we'll do is we will set a transform and we'll set the scale to 0 and we'll also set a rotate Z of 180 degrees and we'll set a transition for a smooth animation so we'll type all to 0 0.4 seconds and we will have a cubic bezier 0 0.54 0 0.01 0 and 1.49 now when the checkbox is checked we want to display the SVG so we'll type input type checkbox and we'll type checked over here and since we have the label right beside the checkbox we have to type plus label colon colon before and we'll just copy this from here and uh, we'll paste it down here and we'll set the scale to 1 and the rotation to 0 alright so now when we click on this we can see our checkbox right here now the last thing we need to do is we want to have a border so if you go to the original design we have this border right here in the initial state and when we click on that uh, we get the checkbox but initially we have this border so for that we'll use an after selector so we'll type label colon colon after and here we'll type content to blank and we'll give a border of 2 pixels solid 27AE60 and we'll give width and height of 24 pixels and we'll set the position to absolute and then we'll set the left to minus 42 pixels and the top to minus 6 pixels and then we'll also set a border radius and we'll set it to 50% and we have the border right here so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day